Uh, thank you very much about your presentation. I can say that I can very much agree what you have said. And, you. and maybe some some small issues, uh, small issues we can have the discussion, but you improve in the end because I feel that I am the question mark. <laughs> Good. And it's, it's uh, very nice to be a question mark uh, <laughs> because the question mark gives possibility to be a solution one day. And uh, I think that what we are missing, I start from that, is that we don't have a proper dialogue a debate and discussion with the disabled people and the organization and with the social workers. Okay, we meet social workers, but when we meet, they are always on the other side of the table. And that's not the best place to dialogue because you are then asking something and you have to be nice or you have to be aggressive. It depends on the situation because uh, there are two approaches. Sometimes it's, if you are nice, uh, you get the support you need. Sometimes it's not enough, then you have to be aggressive. But then in the end, you have to be nice again. Because you, if, if you are not nice in the end, you don't get in the future anything. Uh, this is a sweet secret, which I normally tell only for disabled people when they are going to the social offices. I think the dialogue about them, about the situation of disabled people and what the social work could be it's uh, very important so that we could improve uh, the work as itself and also the results uh, why the social work is needed and uh, that's that's important because uh, the the starting point is that digital people all over the world in different way are uh, the situation where they they don't manage by themselves. That's why we have a different uh, legislation. We have social work. Well, we have different systems to support that disabled people could live a normal, so-called normal life. I don't know what normal is, but anyway, something so-called normal life in their own societies. And, uh, and the difference is, uh, of course, in the poor countries, uh, the social system is different. And the possibilities are different than in rich countries like Finland. Also, the uh, possibilities are, are different, and in fact, the possibilities are much better than in in many many other countries. But somehow, uh, we have had some possibilities in Finland now and then to have dialogue with the social workers, but the results have not been so nice because. When I try to tell how these people are facing social workers, social workers normally don't like it. And I understand because uh, when I try to explain how these people feel when they have to work with the social workers, the, 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 the feelings are not always so nice. And I don't hate social workers, no. I like social because they are nice people outside of the table. Like other people, and, and and many social workers are doing good work, but then we are facing too many times that social workers, uh, digital people don't feel that social worker is on their side. Social worker is on the other side, not only on the table, but also the the uh, where the money is, the other side of that place where the money is, and digital people uh, feel that social worker is not the enemy, but somebody that uh, that tries to control him or her, and that's fact. So it's all about is making decision, which is, and the decision making also means controlling what to give and what not to give, and, and the rules, what you were saying about the social workers, that's totally different. You are not speaking about the, how social work is saying, you can go to the toilet twice a week. No, oh, your stomach's so big, you have to go four times a week to the toilet. You then we give you uh, help. Uh, no, you don't eat so little, you know, only every second week. You are so clean person, you need not to go to shower every day. Men need to go shower more often because they are so dirty anyway. Especially dirty old men need to go very often to shower. And this is like what this is what disabled people are normally are, are facing when we meet social workers. At their work. Okay, I understand that social workers are also in the in the in the position where they are social workers are also under control. 
In principle, social workers are making independent decisions, but not in practice, because they are under the, uh, under the economical circumstances, which I also understand. But like, like if I had to write the definition of what social work is today, it's quite different what what your international beautiful organization is saying. Social work, uh, social work, work is a way to keep disabled people calm and relaxed as cheap as possible. But as I said, this is little exaggeration because there are also many, many situations in Finland where people get really, we really get help. But uh, if we if we look at my first slide, uh, they are like I use the word Nordic welfare. In Finland, it's not totally Nordic. It's some, uh, some, uh, a little bit like Nordic. But this uh, the system where everybody needs. Everybody who needs help get help, and there are huge crowd of professionals who knows what you need. And don't ask people themselves too much what they need because that's disturbing the work. But the positive side is we have a good, we have protection, we have we have support, we have services, we have a long list of services on paper and sometimes also in the in the practice. But the negative side is who protects disabled people? from the system. Okay, organization of disabled people, we have nowadays uh, more and more lawyers. It's ridiculous because we need lawyers to work with the social workers who have been trained to help disabled people. But that is, this is reality at the moment. And, and like, like uh, okay, in threshold we hear many times uh, the, the bad stories more than good stories. That's maybe, uh, that's maybe I am too negative today. But what, all what I say is partly true at least. And, and uh, so we have lawyers to fight against social workers about the decisions they are making. And, and uh, to use a football term, we are winning 6-0. It means that we are not totally overwhelming, but uh, in the football 6-0 is a, it's a bad, bad result if you are losing. And that's how it happens when we go to the court about the situation. And then there are other important issues what civil people are facing. Too often it's humiliation. They feel <coughs> they don't feel comfortable. They don't feel that this is fair. And, and uh, it's also uh, somehow segregative that, that, that uh, if you're good in poetry, like Sunny, she can make good applications because she can invent how to write your needs for that you have. But if you are not a, a poet or if you are not even a, a, a prosaist, you are really bad situation because if you don't, if you cannot express what you need, you are you are not interpreted so that it should be give a good result. That that's like a one 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 issue and that one issue in Finland is that. That why need why we need so many documents? I have said many times, if somebody has <laughs> been like thirty years have somebody have had thirty years disability, why you need a doctor's statement that you are tomorrow disabled? If you if you are not tomorrow disabled, you the son what will write about that Jesus has been here and cured you, and you can walk over the water. It's a miracle, because the nerves don't come back if you one day cut them. And the, the weak muscles will never be strong. Now I try to turn this. No. Okay, wrong. No. And then I like to speak about the social work, that, that the philosophy of independent living, that should be like a, one way to express the goal which we try to reach. When I was writing this, I have in my mind the old Negro spirit, spirit let my people go. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it. But if, if there's somebody good singer, please come here. And let people do what they want and make it possible. Let people make their own decisions. And, and that's something that uh, is one way
to express uh -huh. that was a minister of finance uh, somebody uh, somehow we should encourage and help people to use their own resources uh, I have helped during years uh, many different people trying to, to help them to find their own resources and and, and, and uh, do things on their own and, and use different approaches and people that's what disabled people really need they need they need a approach where they are encouraged and supported and and uh, uh -huh. okay and i use uh, maybe different kind of approaches coaching and personal training like I have been, I have been using. I'm so old. I have been using the the physiotherapy uh, how many years? Sixty years, and it's so boring. So nowadays, I don't have a physiotherapist. I have a personal trainer. It sounds so <laughs> cool. <laughs> and and if uh, some different people have problems, don't give social. Work, give coaching. Help find own resources and then help them, help people find the resources which are available. And that's like a, that's, that's a, a new approach. And I, and I also think that if people can find their own resources better, it also is a relax for the, for the people who are sitting on the money. Like I have said that many times that. If you are using special transport, you never find the person of your life. Uh, because if you go to the bus or tram, you never know whom you will meet. Maybe you. But then I heard one of my friend got married with a taxi driver. <laughs> okay, there are some possibilities, but there are so few taxi drivers compared to the people who are in the buses. So you uh, and then uh, these people are very often afraid. They're afraid about their uh, attitudes. Normally, it's, it's no need to be afraid of attitudes. Attitudes are there, and if you're not there, they never will be changed. People are afraid how they manage. Uh, people are afraid of, about them, what happens. And, and if, you, if you are not brave enough to jump into the society, you can be afraid the rest of your life. Normally, in... Uh, in in fact, always you manage somehow, and then you learn to better, better in that. But let's see what's my next slide. And then you would also speak about this a bit of a different vocabulary and approach that that in the, where you said about the, how to change the society, not only individual support but also be part in the, in the changing society and, and these are people we really need allies because and, and social work and social workers uh, you could be their allies because you know more about the life of these people than many other other like in Helsinki it's so stupid Helsinki bought just 20 new trams and all of the trams are 5 centimeters too high I say that the, the highest low floor tram uh, trams in the world. That's one kind of record. They, are, uh, they look nice, but you cannot get in on your own. You need assistance. It's ridiculous. Because it, I think it would be cheaper to make a little bit smaller tram so that they are lower. But no, they want to make big because there are men who are making the trams. They want to have big trams and we are very, very high because that's a uh, that's, uh, main way of thinking. Maybe we, if we had a female tram planner, they would make a more nice tram. But I don't know. But anyway, this, this, and what is the result? Result is uh, we cannot go alone in the tram. So you are uh, paying that we have somebody to help us. You are paying that, uh, not from your own pocket, but from the social work budget, you are paying that, uh, that we have a paratransit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And same with the environment. Now Finland is the Minister of 
uh, environment is now uh, going backwards and the regulations about the accessibility, they are making them worse on the, on the perspective of accessibility. And it means that disabled people cannot live so well on their own independently, independently in the future than today. And who is paying that? Okay, digital people are paying so that they are not, cannot go out, and, uh, but, but also the social office is paying uh, some of the economical costs and all these other things which we are facing, which are segregating and isolating disabled people. The, the employment, uh, poverty, and even right to be, that's like a basic basic in information. Now in Finland we have new plans that, that uh, and the uh, digital people and old and those who have uh, pain, they should kill themselves. Not maybe necessarily, but they have a possibility to kill themselves uh, legally. Okay, everybody has right to kill themselves. But especially disabled people should consider that possibility because life is so terrible. It's not worth your living if you have a disability, and, and, and it's terrible that if there are coming disabled children, so we need prenatal screening. So be careful when you get married, or even if you're having baby without marriage. I don't take position on that. Now, I try to change this. This is exciting. No, this is wrong direction. Full citizens. That is what we want. That is to say it in two words. And we need social workers to work with us. Together that we can be full citizens. Thank you.